Hi there folks, it's Prepper Al here again. So, just to recap my previous videos, we've talked about home defence, we've talked about Prepper food, Prepper water storage, Prepper hygiene. So now we're going to talk about how do you heat your home, keep yourself warm and cook your food in a shit hits the fan situation when there's no gas and no electricity. So, first of all, I'm going to say to all those people who live in one of the new style houses, new style flat or apartments that is strictly gas central heating, uh, the best thing you could do is basically wrap up and wrap up warm uh, because you don't have a chimney. If you live in one of the old style council houses or old style council flats, then you will still have a chimney. So this is an old style council house. But that is actually a fake fire, obviously, that's a, an electric fire. So, if you're in a similar situation to me, whether you've got a gas or an electric fire, this is what you do. If the electricity is out, that's fine. You know what, just double check and make sure that the electricity, everything is off in your house, including the mains. If you've got a gas fire, again, in your house, find out where the actual gas main pump is and turn that off, just to be double sure. Then what do you do? Basically, just rip your fire out. Behind that is my chimney. The original chimney is still there, and it goes, obviously, the flue goes up, and you've got a chimney at the top of your house. Uh, just rip it out. All this, that's all fake wood. So what they did is, they took away the real hard stone mantelpiece, and they put a fake wooden one there, and then they stuck an electric fire in. So all you do is you rip, rip all this off, take a hammer or a mallet to it or a crowbar, take the fire out, take the cable that links to your socket out, fill that small hole there if you can see it, fill that back up with polyfiller or something and then you'll have an empty cavity which is your chimney. Now as you can see, I can take that out, my chimney's behind there. I'm not taking it out because I've been given strict instructions from the wife not to make a mess. So I'm not going to be doing that. So anyway, so get your fire, get your fireplace, your chimney back in working order. You will have to give it a clean. So you could go on eBay right now and buy chimney cleaning sweeping brushes for anything from 20 to 25 pound. And basically all you do is you stick one end up at a time up through the chimney and you give it a good scrub until you get all the thick black creosote that's left and that'll come, it'll fall back down onto your, your basic, uh, into the floor of your chimney and that stuff, that prevents your chimney from going on fire because creosote is highly flammable and that's what causes the chimney fire so you have to give your chimney a quick clean before you start any more fires again. So. So that's uh, the heating your home side of things. What about lighting? You still at night time and it's dark, you still need lights. Basically, like candles. Pick up some cheap ass candle holders, the garden lanterns you get, and even empty food jars. That was a, a jar of pickles, and now it's a candle holder. Type of candles do you want? Uh, the long stick ones. Uh, I think that was six for three pound at the Tesco's. These big round ones, uh, 10 for £2 out of Asda's right now, or 30 for £3 out of Asda's right now. This is March, so you might want to have a wee little trip to Asda's. Uh, right, so that's all I've really got to say about heating your home and lighting your home. Uh, you have to cook food also. Uh, you can cook food in your fireplace. I'm not going to demonstrate that, but I am going to show you the best way of getting a small fire on the go with which you can heat your home and cook your food. But that's another video, so just a quick short video now, just to give you the heads up how to rip away your fake fireplace, clean your chimney, and how to light your home and how to set a wee fire. You would basically just set a wee fire right at the back there and then you could just push over your couch or your sofa and maximise the warmth you're getting from that fire. You don't want to make a big huge fire because you know what? Have you ever actually set a fire in your house? That's what you're doing. Nobody's did that in this neck of the woods for the best bit of 25-30 years. So very few people will actually know how to work a chimney. 
But as long as it's clean and as long as the fire's small, you'll be safe. So, anywho, that's that video sorted. I'm going to make another video about the best ways of starting small fires. Uh, right, thank you and I'll see you in the next video.